It's just so sad. How did they all end up here? This is the secret Katie did slash other bug graveyard in Terrasante. Hmm. Our death face about. <laughs> I don't believe you. I don't think you're actually that mad. Lucy <laughs> is grumpy. Are you ready to do something new and exciting? I think your wall of poop right when you walk in is your answer. I have an exciting lesson plan for you today. She says, I don't care about you. It's Jill and my helmet's on my eyebrows, but my helmet's also very dirty because it's very dusty in the arena. Today I'm with Bubs and we are going to do something that I don't know if she's ever done before and I haven't done on her yet. Um, I'm going to hop on her bareback and take her for a little ride around the arena, see what she thinks. It'll be interesting because there's like no pony here. Yeah, I'm focusing on the young ones because that is a lot of needing help. I'm gonna get on Bubs and uh, let you guys check it out. <laughs> I don't even know if my trainer <laughs> let me. She might be like, mm-mm, go put a saddle on. I don't think so. Hmm, nope, well, that's how today's going. Oh. 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 wrapping skills from the genius. I know, like, I get a lot of comments from people asking me to do a polar wrapping tutorial, but everyone does it differently. And I feel like it's sort of controversial. I know Invention TV here on YouTube has some really good videos about it. And I mean, you can just see the way that I wrap if you want to do it like I do. I don't, know, I don't think I'm the best polar wrapper this side of the Mississippi or anything. So there are plenty of tutorials out there, um, but I highly recommend the Invention TV one. The ground is really dirty. I should have cleaned that. You're such a small little horse. Yeah, hello everyone, it is voiceover Jill, and I have news. See that bit right there? Yes, I was wrong. Today actually alleviates pole pressure uh, because of the stable little thumb there, and uh, it doesn't add pole pressure, which is exactly what it looks like it would do, but it does the exact opposite. There are lots of studies that have been done about it, so your girl was wrong. <laughs> and um, anyway, you can see here that I'm just kind of like rubbing all over Bubs, letting her know that I'm up there and um, just asking her to whoa, and then I did some magic trick. I honestly don't know how I mounted like that. Um, it was so flawless. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I just started her out at a walk, and I walked her around for a while, just letting her get used to the feel of no saddle, just, just me up there. Uh, and I walked her over some poles and stuff, and I was just kind of feeling her out. Um, I didn't really like have a huge plan or anything for this ride. I just kind of wanted to see what she would think about it and um, you know just get it under her belt that she's been <laughs> ridden bareback and hoped that she wouldn't kill me. And you can see here we picked up the trot and um, she always bows in that corner. I don't know what that is about. She just always pops her shoulder. <laughs> um, but anyway so I just picked up the trot and was asking her to just kind of go slow and um, it was clear that she was like what the heck? <laughs> what is going on? Um, and she like was tossing her head a bit um, just because like she is so young she is quite unbalanced um, because she hasn't like quite figured out that like inside leg means like bend around it and lift your back and so she was really bouncy because she was inverted and <laughs> then being unbalanced on top of that it was really hard for me to like communicate clearly and um, this, was, this was a good educational experience for yours truly <laughs> um, but I was just trying to keep um, my like lower back and hips like in sync with her um, movement and um, keep my hands as still as possible um, and still following her head and neck motion wherever that was at any given time and then just kind of still trying to keep my leg on you can see there I'm asking her to bend around it and then I start engaging my outside <laughs> and she said I don't want to go anymore <laughs> And she was so cool. It was just, it was difficult to keep a steady pace because when she would speed up, I would lose my balance. And I was like, mm. <laughs> okay, so it just took longer to bring her back. And that is why we ride young horses with saddles, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I don't know how the Indians did it. Like, how do you just hop on a horse and be like, yeah, I got this. I don't even need a bridle. We'll just try not to fall off. <laughs> Which is essentially what I was doing um, in a controlled environment. But... Yeah, we took lots of walk breaks because also like sitting on a young horse's back extensively can um, be a little overwhelming or tiring for, for them. That's why we like to post and get off their backs a little bit. 
So I just let her walk around, and she's so funny. After, like, a minimal amount of work, her, like, nose hits the ground. She's like, I'm so tired. I can't do this. I don't want to. I just want to just wanna walk. <laughs> but that's pretty much our bareback ride. Short and sweet. <sighs> Good test. Got it. Nailed it. She doesn't like it. <laughs> that's my final conclusion. She hates this. Okay, we are free-range chickens right now. We are exploring bareback still. Oh, look! <laughs> nice to meet you! <laughs> but, like, look how far off my leg hangs. Like, she's so narrow. Oh, that's unzipped. Can you guys see, like, the gap? Because she's such a skinny bean. Skinny bean stock! We didn't get to canter today because um, searing is questionable. Bear back to good bean, yeah. Sploosh, magic sparkles. I forgot to film an outro because I suck at YouTubing and it got dark and I was like, mm, I'm tired and cold. I just want to go home. Um, but it's okay because I made up for it in bloopers. And by bloopers, I mean I just dropped my phone a whole lot. <laughs> I put my camera on a stall and I really hope Max doesn't just like be really No! No! Go to the back of your stall. You look like an idiot. <laughs> Where I always get phone calls when I am trying to film. Hello, Ripley. Hello, come here. I don't even understand how it fell that time. Uh, she's got squats, but it didn't break. That's all that matters. Uh,